Right, welcome back. And now we will describe the bones of your hand. We have eight carpal bones, eight carpal bones. The metacarpal bones are easy. They are named one, two, three, four, five. One is the thumb, and then it goes to number five toward your pinky. Then we have the phalanges. We have proximal and distal phalanges. And in the other fingers, other than the thumb, we would have three of them. We will have proximal, middle, and distal. Now to the complicated area here. We have eight bones, eight carpal bones. I admit it's hard to remember sometimes. So there is an easy way to remember by saying the statement. Stop letting those people touch the cadaver hand. Once again, stop letting those people touch the cadaver hand. What does that mean? Stop would be the scaphoid bone. Letting is your lunate bone. Those will be your triquetrum bone. Triquetrum bone. P is for pisiform bone. And then to the other row, we have to start lateral to medial again. Then trapezium, trapezoid, capitate, and hamate. Stop letting those people touch the cadaver hand. That's easy to remember, right? Great. And as we agreed, you can see the same bones except the pisiform from the back of the hand. The view we were looking at is, of course, the palmar view. As you can see, the carpal bones are arching, and that creates to you, once it's closed by aponeurosis over here, it creates to you tunnel. Uh, nerves and tendons pass through this tunnel, and we call that carpal tunnel. Sometimes you get inflammation, and it starts pressing on the nerves that are passing here, and that we call it carpal tunnel syndrome. You probably heard that term before. All right, these were the bones of your hand. We will move on to the muscles of the upper limb in our next video. See you then.